Maybe he's eating his dinner. Welcome, Ignatius. Ignatius, you're late. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Ignatius, you're late. You have to treat us for dinner. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome, everyone. Okay, <laughs> today we are going to learn different topic but before we learn different topic i want to recap whatever we have learned so far okay okay so this is java basic i just go to source and we are inside java basic okay uh, Inside Java Basic, I have digital device. You see, and the digital device does have some okay. properties. Okay, all yeah. are static, and also we have two static method, right? Yes. And we have main method. So if interviewer ask you, what do we have inside class? What will be your answer? Methods, behavior, and main um, method. Okay, methods. Behaviors are methods. Oh, if yeah. you say behaviors, you don't need to say methods. Just say methods, Method, and yeah. what are these? States. Properties. Yeah, states, properties, properties mm. or attributes, or fields, or data members. PMM. My code is PMM. And also, we have main method, right? When you will tell him or her, uh, Inside class, we have properties, methods, and main method. Then our next question will be, what is main method? Main method is the entry point, point yeah, of, a Java. of Java. I just right. say entry point, entry point, yeah. meaning Without main method, you cannot run or execute Java program. Okay. Right. Now, uh, since all our properties are static and method also static, static does have special power mm -hmm. and it's directly related to class and it does have special power. If you have static keywords, you don't need to create object to access all the properties and methods of the class, right? So uh, we are directly accessing the variable name and price in USD and also display movie play game method, okay? But, but if you take away static keywords, okay? Once you take it away, now you check, it's showing red mark, right? Yeah. Same mm -hmm. way if you take out this static, again, it will show the red mark here. So now what do you have to do? You have to create object. So I uncomment TV1 and TV2 is our reference variable to the new digital device object and another new digital device object. I showed you earlier, though these two um, object apparently similar these are not similar right 
these are mm -hmm. two different uh, object if you have any doubt then you just can print tv1 and tv2 and it will show you that the reference bar these two mm -hmm. these two objects are not similar okay now mm -hmm. To access this name variable, okay, this name variable, what do you need now? Can anyone tell me? To access it. Sorry? How we can you access it, how? How we can remove this red mark? This red mark. How? Uh, it's saying cannot make a static reference to the non static field name. This you field name. The, you can put the TV1. Yes. TV1. One. Then dot, right? dot yeah. operator so again mm. tb1 or tb2 two okay you can use also tb2 all right now this is still working because these are static okay if we take out static keyword you see now throwing an error so I can use TB2, sorry, TB2 dot display, and I can take out static boy play game and TB2 dot. No, no. If I copy it, okay, hmm. and just use TB2 and TB2, just use TB2, and I'm using here TB1, okay? Now print it, sorry, execute it. Now you see digital devices name is Samsung TV, digital devices price is $500, TV can display anything, film, TV can play games, digital devices name is Samsung TV, now the problem is, yes, we can access, but the problem is, this is a reference variable for this object, and TB2 is a reference variable to this object. Different object, different reference variable, but it's printing the same data, okay? Same data. Mm -hmm. So it's actually printing the duplicate data or information not giving us new data. In okay, real yeah. world, real world, to understand the concept, we can use it, but in real project, you cannot keep duplicate data, right? right. So this problem, uh, if you want to solve this problem, then we have to uh, learn another concept, and this is called constructor. Okay, constructor. Now, what is constructor? That is very 
important concept in any programming language. This is called constructor, okay? Constructor. constructor. Now, what is constructor? In Java, constructor is a special method, okay? Uh, we can say in Java, meaning in Java programming, in Java, constructor is a special method, okay? A special method and uh, that is used to initialize initialize objects okay um, what does it mean the constructor is called or executes executed when an object of a class is created okay whenever can you say it again whenever whenever you create new object constructor is called meaning constructor is invoked meaning constructor is active okay uh, let me yeah, leave a note Okay, I say it, it initialized object and the constructor is called meaning invoked meaning called when an object of a class is created. Meaning, whenever you create an object or objects for a class or from a class, constructor automatically starts working. It becomes active, okay? Now, here we cannot see it. Here we cannot see it, actually. When we create this object from digital device and put a reference variable that is referring to this object, according to this definition, constructor is invoked, but we cannot see it. But internally, internally, Java uh, constructor is there. You create, you create a constructor or you don't create it, constructor is there, okay? Now, when you are not creating, constructor is working by default. Okay, still you don't know what is constructor because I haven't shown it you. But you know the theory now, constructor is special kind of method. This is not this kind of method. Yes, constructor is a method, but it is special kind of method. Static, mm -hmm. static is a keyword like other static keyword, but static does have special power, right? The same way, this method, when you create it, okay? And when you create object, and when you execute it, it is not invoked. It doesn't work until or unless you call it by name. Do you remember? You see, mm. you have to call it by name. But constructor is special kind of method. 
you don't need to call it you don't need to call it when but how can how can you invoke yeah you have to listen very carefully first whenever you create an object constructor that is special kind of method automatically invoked you understand the theory got it yep okay okay is it by, by default by default yes by default okay. when you create object you see when you create object these methods are not invoked it's not being called but constructor is automatically invoked okay how mm -hmm. let's see no mm. how we create constructor first you have to know how we create constructor okay uh, say for example now this is our properties okay now since these properties when we access all these properties the problem is we are getting the same data when we are even using two different reference variable, right? Now, we don't want it to be happen. So how we can solve the problem? We yes. have to create constructor. So uh, we want to create constructor. Okay, how we can create constructor? Let me take the note um, here. Uh, let me make it more simple okay i want to create constructor here no look i don't want to put this data here okay what I'm doing here, I'm just declaring the variable. Declaring variable, meaning we are creating variable. We are creating variables here, just declaring the variable, but we are not defining the variable. Define means we are not putting here the information, okay? I'm not telling name is Ignatius, Ignatius, Ignatius. Rather, I just declare the variable name and it, it, it will be string and integer is price in USD, okay? Now, I will create a constructor, create a constructor. Okay, how we create constructor? Uh, we create constructor, mm, constructor for the main class. constructor for the, this is not main class. Class is digital device, okay? We are creating constructor for digital device class. Okay, how we can create constructor? To create constructor, uh, 
just you can say public okay in just name of the class you see i just put name of the class digital device and create a method it's method right it's method mm. but it is special method why it is special the name of this method is named similar to digital device you see it's similar do you understand it yes it's kind of confusing a little bit confusing but remember mm. the name of the method is similar mm. to the so, name of the class yes you cannot name it differently because it is constructor it's a special method and that is used to initialize object what does it mean you didn't say string name equal to ignitious or int price equal to the price of the digital device rather you will be defining right here how you will be saying name is equal to say for example it is uh, samsung mm -hmm. okay it was sam samsung say for example mm -hmm. okay and you are saying in and in this what they are in this price in usd actually price in usd mm -hmm. equal to 2000 okay 2000 mm -hmm. no problem no you have a very big tv ignatius yes <laughs> 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 well, you, that's how you used to call before, but now it's cheap you, now. Give me your old ones. Your old ones, yeah. <laughs> can you now uh, differentiate what we did earlier and what we are doing now? Yeah, I think uh, for uh, for this contractor, you have to put specific. Yes, we are declaring here. Earlier, we declare the variable and also define the variable here we are just declaring the variable okay and we are defining we we call it initialization yes yeah, so it's we, like yeah you don't want to generalize you just yeah. want to specify we set set the initial initial value for the class attribute name and price have you got it no we already create object what was the definition we have less than one minute if we are dropped please join back uh, after five minutes break okay take okay. a break today you have to revise